Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It is that time of year again when the days are getting shorter and we unfortunately have to ride our bicycles at night and we need good proper lights to do it. And we've been riding so far this season and it's been a little scary ever since the whole Area 51 thing and the things you see out at nighttime. So aside from the extra testicles, terrestrials, extra terrestrials out on the trail. Anyways, night riding can be a ton of fun. Um, it's a, definitely a different feeling than riding at the daytime. You get much more sort of zoned out and own, your own little tunnel vision. And it's kind of nice climbing because you can just climb up a big trail and not realize where you are on the thing. And all of a sudden you're at the top and it's just a lot of fun. It's a different experience riding. Um, it's really important to have a good set of lights. And last year we did a top five lights video and we're gonna do the same thing this year where we're gonna kind of break down um, what lights we like, which lights we use here at the shop and our customers use and love. There's a ton of selection out there, so I'm gonna talk about that too. There's a ton of different brands and options you have when buying night riding lights. Um, I am of the jury that it is smart to get a good name brand, high quality light because they are electronics. So they do rank them by lumens, right? Which is the ranking of how bright the thing is. And if you buy these kind of generic no name lights off of Amazon or eBay or something, the odds of that battery being quality, the lumens actually being what they claim they are, the thing lasting more than one season on you, the thing having the amount of battery time it has is just a little shady. I think you get what you pay for with lights and it is pretty meaningful because if you're out there in the dark and your light fails, not a good sign. Um, so speaking of that, usually night riding setups, what I like to do is have a light on my handlebars and my helmet. Um, that's my preferred setup. Some people just do one or the other. If you're only gonna have one light, you gotta have it on your helmet. So the reason is, is because your helmet, having a light there, you can see around corners. So say you're climbing an uphill switchback and you're looking around the corner like that. If the light's on your handlebars only and you don't have one on your helmet, you can't see anything over there. Um, so if you are gonna ride one light only, definitely put it on your helmet, but Preferably, it's nice to have two. Ideally, the one on your helmet goes a little bit further out. So when you're kind of going fast and high speed, the one on your helmet's angled a little more outward. So it's just maybe, I would say like 20 to 40 feet ahead of you. And then the one on your handlebars is a little bit more pointed down to sort of light up the trail directly in front of you, like the first five to 10 feet in front of you. Um, so that's just a couple little tips on night riding and how that works if you haven't done it a lot. It is a ton of fun. There's a lot of other YouTube videos just talking about it and what it's like actually out there. Um, so to dive into the lights that we like and we really enjoy, we're going to talk about them right now and then we also have a blog post link in the description that goes into all the nitty-gritty details and features of all these sort of things throughout the video we're going to run clips of each one of these lights individually out on the trail so you can kind of get an idea of what they look like um, back to back on the trail kind of how the light beam spreads we're going to do our best to keep the camera exposure at the same level um, and then do some comparisons at the end to just show you guys how this things how these things all work on the trail um, Surprisingly, year to year, my setup has not changed. There hasn't been a crazy amount of innovation in lights. I think everyone kind of got to a point where they could only hit so many lumens per price point and so much light weight and battery power and all that sort of stuff. And it is actually really good. So my favorite light last year and this year is still the Knight Rider Lumina Micro 850. Um, that's this little guy right here. This is an 850 lumen light. It'll last an hour and a half at max power. Um, there's multiple settings on it, so you can have it at a, like a dim mode that'll last several hours. So when it comes to buying lights, you just gotta consider what you're doing. Are you gonna go for six hour long night rides? Are you gonna go for half an hour ones? Um, factor these things in. And then for me, I only ride usually for about 45 minutes or an hour at nighttime. And when I climb, I put it on the low setting mode. And then when I descend, I put it on the high setting mode. So I have plenty of battery at the end of my hour long ride. And I'll run an 850 on my helmet and on my handlebar. Um, I like this because it's just small, compact, it charges fast, and it's just a little simple light that works really well. And it's 65 bucks. So two of these things run you $130 and you have an amazing setup to go night riding. Um, if you wanna step up from that, get some longer battery life or an even brighter light, um, Knight Rider also makes a 1200 boost. These are a hundred bucks. Um, these have a bunch of other settings as well. They're a little bit larger. You can still put this on your helmet, but it is a little heavy. And the heavier of a light you put on your helmet, the more you feel like a total bobblehead. So factor that in. Um, that's why this is a great helmet light because it doesn't have an external battery. So some lights you see, you will just have sort of the bulbs in one place and then a cord running down, which you can run into your hydration pack or something and then have your battery there. 
that's all just kind of like a messy setup in my opinion. I love these things where it's just like all, all in one, battery included. Um, so you can run something like this on the handlebars, this on your helmet, or just two of these, one up here, one down there. Amazing setup. So these are our favorite picks from Knight Rider. Um, they're just good, reliable lights that we have like no issues with and everyone seems to love and they just work amazing. So there's a ton of different brands out there. I'm gonna talk about some other popular ones that we also sell. And again, check the links below in the video description because there is a link to our category of all the lights that we offer and we can rank them by best selling so you can see what people are enjoying and then all the details and all this stuff as well. So without further ado, let's get into some other ones. Another really popular brand that we sell and has been around for a long time is Light and Motion. These guys are infamous for scuba diving lights. <laughs> They make really good stuff there and they just make really high quality, very boutique lights that are a bit pricier than some of the other brands. But what we found with these guys is they do just make an extremely quality product that we've never seen a warranty issue with. And they're like, customer support's amazing if you ever need help or anything like that. So we have nothing but good things to say about these guys. Um, this is one of their more popular smaller lights. It is the Urban 1000 Trail Fast Charge. It's 130 bucks. Um, the fast charge is a pretty cool feature that this thing has that a lot of other lights don't, and that allows you to charge this thing, I believe, in about a couple hours um, as a full charge from zero to nothing, uh, which can be convenient when it's, you know, three o'clock in the afternoon and your buddies are like, hey, you wanna go for a night ride? And you realize your light's not charged, so that's a nice feature. Um, another thing a lot of light motions have that others don't is a red light on the side, which you can see now. So that can help you be seen from other angles when you're out on the trail and your buddies are looking for you or you know someone's like looking down on the trail or there's hikers out there. Just cool little feature that they have. Um, this thing has a one to six hour runtime depending on what setting you have, one hour if it's at max charge. Um, because these guys are really good at scuba dive lights, this thing is 100% waterproof. So in case you ride your bike underwater or you think you might get caught in the rain on your ride, these are some of the best lights to go with. Um, so yeah, that's light motion. They also have a Taz 12 light, which is a heavier, um, larger light that a lot of people run on the handlebars. It has a really long battery life and a super nice wide angle beam. So check that one out as well. One thing I forgot to mention about the light motion lights, which is really convenient, is they come with a handlebar mount, a helmet mount, and this really cool GoPro mount. If you have a GoPro mount anywhere, you can use that, and a charging cable, which is pretty cool because a lot of the other brands don't include all those mounts, but light motion does. Another thing that justifies their slightly higher price. Last but not least, we have a couple of Saigo lights, another really good reputable night light brand out there that's been around for a long time. Um, the Dash 600, this thing is the lightest thing I think we sell at this Lumens. It's 95 grams, and these things are kind of packed with features. Again, like I was mentioning before, definitely consider all the features you're looking for that make sense for the type of night riding you do. One thing that's unique about this is the little flashers it has up top, and those are really good for being seen when you're riding on the road, just like a day flashing light and those will go for 80 hours so um, that's forever so if you're in a case where you kind of have to ride maybe 20 30 minutes of road before you get to the actual trailhead um, this could be an incredible light for you especially if you're looking for something that's ultra lightweight for your helmet um, 95 grams is amazing so 65 bucks 600 lumens out of the main beam there when you're actually on the trail so a great light for your helmet um, Saigo light dash pro 600 uh, this one, the Metro Pro 1100. Uh, this is our best-selling Saigo light, and I think the reason is, is in a fully compact light, this has one of the widest beams of any of the other ones out there, so you can check that out in the video footage right now. Um, this is a great light handlebar, or you could run it on your helmet, it's still pretty light. The prices fluctuate, but they're usually around 80 bucks, which is really good for an 1100 uh, lumen light. Um, it does have fast charge as well, so two and a half hour charge time, a uh, bunch of different modes on it. These things are really packed with features. Saigo Light's kind of notorious for just packing their lights with a bunch of really cool features, which can be super useful depending on your use case, or maybe not useful at all depending on your use case, but something to factor in when you're looking at features. So that's that. There is a ton of great light brands out there, so a lot to choose from, but hopefully this helped you see some good brands that make some good stuff. Make sure to check all the links below in the video description to check out our blog right up on all these lights and little specs and details um, and just our category of lights in general. Let us know down in the comments. Do you guys ride at nighttime and do you have fun? Do you like it or do you hate it? Do you just put your bike away for the winter? Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.